Hi guys, it's Ben here. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted by this transfer window, but we have 24 hours, 24 hours remaining of this window. And by the time that's over, we can all either breathe a sigh of relief or we can all just dread the rest of the season. Uh, and I say 24 hours, really, I think I mean 48 hours because the Spanish window goes on for another day. So even if we do sign Thomas Lamar, Virgil van Dijk and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who we are going to sign the, the latter, we still might lose Philip Coutinho the following day. So there might be a jubilation tomorrow night, but then that might be met with some disappointment on Friday. All I really care about is getting the signings in. Obviously, because it makes our squad absolutely glorious, but secondly, I just want some transfer deadline day excitement. I want some success in the market. I want us to actually go and spend big for once. We never seem to actually go out and have these sort of days where we have this big spree. Obviously, it's very Man City to do this sort of thing, very Man United. Obviously, they broke the record last summer. I want Liverpool to do it. Paul Joyce has reported in the Times, which is going out tomorrow morning in their paper, the Klopp is planning a 175 million pound spree. I mean, if that doesn't excite you as a Liverpool fan, nothing will. I mean, that was almost the valuation of our club a few years ago when we were under Hicks and Gillette. For that to be spent on three players in one day, for that to be even a possibility, is remarkable. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is in, basically. He's been pictured at Chapel Street in his Liverpool gear, so he's from the door. I imagine that'll be announced in the morning sometime. And then the focus will turn at last to Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> it's gone down to the last day. Um, do you know what I think I'm going to do at the end of this whole transfer window? I think I'm going to make a compilation of all the videos that I've done. Um, all the sort of, the whole storyboard, the whole storyline of the Van Dyke saga, Cater, Oxlade, Chamberlain. You know, we had a bit of excitement with him back earlier on. We had a Bemiang. What else have we had? We've had some ridiculous links. Obviously, Luan, the Brazilian. Um, so much going on. But it's come down to this. We still don't have Oxlade, Chamberlain, but we will. And then it's down to Van Dijk. It's down to Virgil van Dijk. And just, if that wasn't enough, I mean, I would be nervous going into tomorrow if it was just Van Dijk we were targeting. But there's Thomas Lamar, the man that Arsenal and Spurs have been chasing all summer. The man that's playing in a friendly for France against Holland on Thursday night. I think it's a friendly anyway. And we need to get that one wrapped up before the game. We need to get the medical done. There's rumours, there are rumours from I think LFC Globe on Twitter that the medical is taking place now before the deal's even been agreed so that we can speed things up if negotiations do progress throughout Thursday. If there's any truth to that, I don't know. My mate was telling me that apparently the LFC Globe was uh, getting quite a few things right a couple of summers ago, we completely disappeared off the map. Um, you know, his sources could be anyone, but Wow, I mean the general consensus from the ITK seems to be that Lamar will get done. Um, again, just like last night's video, I'm going to have to refresh Twitter because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's 22.52 in the evening. Um, French TV reporting that Lamar LFC medical is taking place now, so, you know, by the time this goes up, maybe we'll know more. I mean, last night it broke around midnight that Oxley Chamberlain had turned Chelsea down to come to Liverpool or to at least hold on for Liverpool, and then the bid came in. Uh, well, the deal was agreed. It was all wrapped up this afternoon. So, Oxley Chamberlain was very, very quick, very easy. Uh, not sure how long that's been in the pipeline for. I mean, that one was sort of the rumours of that one in April or May time. That was going to get wrapped up quite easily. That was apparently done back then. So, the fact that that's even going to come down to dreadful deadline day is is enough in itself of a puts it into enough perspective compared to Van Dyke. I mean, this is one that should have been done a long time ago. I'm just rounding now, I mean, what more can I say? No one knows, the bookies don't know, everything's 50-50, Coutinho's still 50-50, the ITKs are still insisting that he's gonna go. Uh, the likes of Simon Hughes and Chris Bascom and other journalists aren't even entertaining the idea that he's gonna go. I think Simon Hughes said he'd be shocked if Coutinho left. Uh, I don't know who, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, there's no getting away from it. I've kind of swayed one way and the other in terms of my confidence on all these deals. Uh, I didn't think Oxlade Chamberlain would be done today in terms of getting a deal agreed. I thought we'd go for Lamar more aggressively seeing as there was more of a time constraint on that one with the, the France game coming tomorrow and uh, him being in Paris. We've been tracking planes on Twitter again. Liverpool Twitter has been out in full force tracking private jets or planes uh, which were flying from uh, Liverpool to Paris where France have their training camp. Was that anything to do with Liverpool? It was reported earlier. I think Andy Hunter said um, that Liverpool were on standby uh, in case a deal was agreed. The medical staff were on standby to fly out there and, uh, and get the deal done. So. Anything could be happening right now. We could 
be doing the medical right now for all we know. Um, some of the French media are speculating that, so maybe that one's quite likely. Maybe that's more likely than Van Dyke. Uh, one thing that is likely is Divock Origi leaving on loan, um, which may pave the way, as the cliche goes, for someone like Lamar to come in. So, look, Origi to Wolfsburg, £6 million loan fee. Can't really have any complaints with that. Uh, Mamadou Sacco is probably going to leave for Crystal Palace. Markovic will leave on loan. And I think that might be it for outgoing. So it's just Van Dyke and Lamar. Also, Chemnay will be announced soon. I'm looking forward to that. Wow, well, you're going to have to leave a comment. You're going to have to leave a comment with your final prediction. Leave a comment with your final prediction on whether you think we'll sign A. Van Dyke and B. Thomas Lamar. And will Coutinho leave? My prediction, I'm going to stick with my old prediction of Van Dyke in, Lamar in, Coutinho out. Let me know your prediction. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed the whole summer of videos on this channel. Um, wow, what a journey it's been. It's about to come to an end. Obviously, I'll be back uh, tomorrow night with a roundup of everything once we know where we stand. We could have anyone in our team by that point. We really could. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. I'm, I've got to work tomorrow. I'm going to be refreshing my Twitter feed all the time. I think you're all going to be the same. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe, subscribe for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow me on the socials as Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Announce Van Dyke, announce Lamar.